a quick aquaponic update. Uh, um, still, my food is or my plants are growing great. Uh, you can hear some rain in the background. There's my okra. They're already flowering and uh, they're doing okay for the most part. Uh, tomato plant wrapped in here. It's uh, getting longer. And then, of course, some uh, cilantro is doing well. It's very tasty. I love fresh cilantro. Um, and then, of course, the spinach. Now, I can tell with the spinach something's wrong because it's all laying down like it's it's having problems. And so, I took out my uh, bell or my spell siphon here. Actually, I'm testing it right now, and I discovered that it wasn't breaking the uh, breaking the siphon properly. So what happens when that happens is basically the flow rate coming in is the same as the flow rate coming out and you just end up pumping water in but the plants are are drowning in all that water because there's never actually a chance where the the water level goes down and it sucks in the air so they're not getting the air to the roots as well which is kinda important so right now we can see my uh, siphon cycle is just starting um, I moved my filter out of the way so that I can uh, I can monitor it a little closer, and uh, I got like, uh, what is it, 10 goldfish in here, they're all down here hiding, they do like to eat the roots of this, um, this particular spinach leaf is doing really good, um, and it's just rafting there on top, um, and then of course the, the clover is doing perfectly well as well, um, so that's that. And I got some food in here right now. The fish are, it looks pretty bad. I, you know, you gotta every now and then check that uh, siphon and make sure it's breaking. So as the water starts flowing, we're gonna watch just to make sure that it actually does stop this time. Um, so what I did, uh, well, I'll show you when it stops. But essentially, there's a little tube that comes up the side of. Let's see if we can see it real quick. When you look down in here, there's a little tube right down there that goes into the top of this cap. When the water level, when the water level rises, um, that tube allows air to go into the uh, top of the uh, of the bell of the, of the bell siphon and, and help to break the siphon. It's important that uh, with aquaponics, you're your siphon starts and it's important that it stops. Um, so we're looking for the stop here. Um, kind of hard to tell. My little indicator here on the side doesn't really show very well. But, uh, but what does show well is we can look in here and we can see the water level is going down. Well, it's not quite going down so much right now. We should have a better flow out than that. Now, let me check my restrictor there. And just me touching it there, I, I made it start. Um, I'm a little concerned that maybe it's not starting either properly, so that might be something to look at as well. You know, these are little things you you certainly want to keep, uh, keep your eye out for whether or not it's working because uh, you just say, oh, look, everything's green, it's growing. And <laughs> You think everything's good, and then you know, by the time you realize it, it could you could kill a whole bunch of your plants. And I think my uh, spinach are showing signs of wear and tear. So we'll see how it goes here. But now we definitely got the siphon going. There's a steady or a nice strong flow of water there, and hopefully we'll get it uh, empty much quicker. Yeah, pretty exciting, man. Woohoo! Watch the water go.
closer here. So we can look down in here now. Well, you can't. Well, maybe you can tell. Yeah, it is getting pretty low towards the bottom there. Oh, and I just heard the siphon break. You can see now we have no water. But of course, I missed it on camera. Well, okay, I got a little bit of water because I have a slow leak there. All right. Um, another thing I had to do for maintenance is to take the uh, hose here on the end and uh, clean it out a little bit. It gets a little bit of a uh, slimy algae in there and uh, if it starts to get plugged up that's the same thing that's happening with the little uh, tube in the uh, siphon there is when it gets plugged up with algae or with whatever it uh, it can't really operate properly and when your flow rate is uh, is close um, it doesn't take much to uh, to make it not work so that's my update for today, and uh, thanks for paying attention. And uh, if you got any questions, leave them below.